Cinderella, go Cinderella Orgasm, blush, lipstick, gig seller Devil in a tight dress, girl, you a killer And ain't nobody real Hello everyone! Okay, this is Sarah. I'm going to be doing my first tutorial and show you guys how to put clip-in hair extension. You know, you're going to look all glamorous and everything. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, who does your hair extensions? How much money do you pay for it? But to be honest with you, like, I don't have that much money. Like, I'm a student. I'm a full-time student. Like, I can't spend $300 a month to have somebody put Sonian hair extensions. I've had them in the past. I've had, I've had Sonian hair extensions. I've had um, glued hair extensions, but it always ended up messing up my hair. Like I've been losing hair and everything. I can't do that anymore. So I didn't put extensions for a while. Um, recently, with the help of the amazing YouTube tutorials and my girl Vanush. Hey Vanush, thank you. Uh, I learned how to make my own clipping extensions, and I've been really happy since. I mean, I save a lot of money. And even when it comes to hair, like, I don't even buy the most expensive hair. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. But um, before I go on with the tutorial, I have a couple of guidelines to tell you before you decide to put clip in extension. Number one, make sure that you buy hair that's the same texture as your own hair, okay? Like, look at my hair. Like, this is... I blow dry. I blow dried my hair, and even if I go to the Dominican hair salon, it's almost the same thing. But I can't buy the silky Chinese Indian hair. No, mm -mm. like it might look good the first day, but when my hair starts poofing up a little bit after like two three days, I'm just gonna look like a hot mess. You know what I mean? Like just buy hair that's the same texture as your hair. Me, what I did, I buy Milky Way Yaki Perm. And it's not silky silky, it's really pretty, but it's not like Chinese, Asian, Indian silky, no. Like, unless you're doing a full weave, if you're putting clip-ins and it's going to be mixed with your own hair, make sure it matches the texture. Number two, make sure your hair is long enough, okay? Like, there's nothing worse than seeing a girl with hair that long, with clip-in extensions, and then you see the hair on top, like here, like, new mm, fail. Number three... Make sure you get the same color. Lord have mercy on the girls that have black hair and buy brown extensions. Or have brown hair and buy black or red or any fucked up color like extensions with freaking uh, like highlights or whatever. No, mm -mm, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Like you'll just be walking around the street looking at like a damn fool. Okay. And also, make sure you buy enough hair for your head. Okay? Like, I bought one pack, and I was fine. One pack of hair, my hair is like this long. Like, if your hair is like super thick, super huge, super long, and you want to put even longer hair extensions, believe me, you'll need more than one pack of hair. Okay? So now we're going to talk about how to put them in. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello. So... Before you put in your clip and extensions, you just have to make sure that you blow dry your hair really well. Um, I use that blow dryer. It's really cool. I like it. Um, it dries your hair really quick. Um, it makes, puts them really straight. I love it. It was only like 20 bucks in New York. I went to like the ghetto to Queens. Anyway. And then I used a flat iron to just put it straight. And uh, once you do that, I mean, your hair just looks good. It looks straight. Just put your, you know, your little trace here, wherever you want. And um, what I did, I bought hair. I like the brand uh, called Milky Way. I mean, it lasts a long time. It doesn't tangle. I really like the texture. They have different textures. Like I said, don't get the Indian hair if yours is like mine. Mm -mm. What I did, I got um, Yaki Perm. If you look at it, it looks like that. It's really good. It's silky, but it's not like too silky. You know what I mean? And uh, you also need to buy clips. Clips like that. Okay. I did the mistake of buying um, the small ones. There's two ways of uh, putting clip in the hair extensions. What you can do, you can sew in the hair, uh, the clips in the hair and put them in your hair. But my girl Vanna showed me a way with the, that only works with the big clip, the big clips like that. Um, you don't even have to sew them in the hair, like it just stays. So just make sure you get the big clips and uh, good hair. And here it goes. So what you do. At first, you have to measure your hair. Oh, I forgot. Another thing you'll need 
those. You need those like clips. Oops. <laughs> You'll need clips just to hold your hair while you measure your hair and while you put the hair extension. Okay? Okay. So, uh, first of all, you just want to go ahead and measure the hair. And you always want to start at the bottom because you know it's the smallest row. So you just, I don't even use a comb. Like, I see girls on YouTube, they're like combing everything. Because I don't have eyes in the back of my head, like I don't know what I'm doing. So I just use my fingers. I have nails. So I just use my fingers like that. I don't know if you can see it, but I just do like one row at the bottom. And then you just go ahead and take the hair and you just put it in the back. Just imagine I have like the whole pack of hair. So I just go ahead and I measure it. It doesn't have to be like perfect and always make sure you leave like a little strand of hair here. You don't want it going like all the way to your freaking ear. Like no. Just make sure you leave a strand of hair just to make it more natural. Uh, you just measure it. You keep the measurement with your finger. Imagine again that I have the whole thing. Just cut it up. Okay? And you repeat that for each row that you want. So I use about five rows. So I put like four up until here. And then like here I just add another small one. Okay? And then once you've had, uh, once you've measured all the hair and cut them up, just put them on the side and then go to the next step. Okay? Okay. So the next step is um, if you want to... Um, sew the clips in the hair, you can go ahead. But I saw that when I've sewed the clips, it takes a long time. Well, maybe because I'm really bad at sewing. Anyways, my girl found this. She showed me a way. So look at the hair. Like I said, I have two rows of hair here. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me just fix that. Okay. Anywho. So you just take the hair like that. And I have the clips like that. So what you do, you just want to open the clips like that, and you just put, see where between the comb and the top, you see that, there's like two parts, you just go to the end of the weave, the weave, the hair extension, and you just go ahead and put it in, just go ahead and do that. My girl Vanish is better at that than me, this is like the second time I do it. Okay. Go, go, go. So here it is. Just a moment. Aha. See? There's a little strand at the end, but whatever. I'm not going to die. See? Like that. Like that. I'll just fix it a little bit. Just make sure it goes to the top. If you have nails, it goes really easily. Okay? Then you just do that for the end also. Okay? And that's for the bottom row. On the bottom row, it's okay that you only put two clips. But for the top rows, like the longer rows, I always suggest that you put three or more, depending on, you know, how long it is. But, like, if I have one that's, like, twice as long as that one, I put one in the middle and one at each end. So let me just go ahead and put it in. Okay. Hold on, it won't be long. Although it's taking me a while now, it takes me way less time than when I sew it in. So. Done! Okay, so, um, see? Clips. So you just go ahead and you do that for each strand of hair that you've measured, whether you've doubled them or not. So, um, I have them already done. And I'm just going to show you guys now how to put them in your hair. You ready? <laughs> 